Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Greece. In the last episode, we continue to work on our focuses, primarily, you know, research, obviously. Uh, we were able to, you know, kind of come down this route. Well, we started working on leaving the EU, but then I realized we had some more important things to do over here. Um, primarily, we had a focus that would reduce our corruption, so that saved us a bunch of political power. Uh, we have another focus here that got us some oil, so we're actually now positive. Um, now we're heading down this route, trying to get some more goals with our neighbors. That's going to be our next objective. Hopefully we can do that before anybody decides to join NATO. Well, actually, I'm not sure they can, because you've gone nationalist. You've gone nationalist. Albania is the only one that's still Western Outlook, so Bulgaria and Macedonia can can't join NATO unless there is some events somewhere that where that will happen. Um, but uh, we're going to try and grab those as quick as we can. Um, the war between China and Russia um, as kind of that a stalemate right now. I think it's due to just poor infrastructure and supply in these areas that is going kind of back and forth so we'll keep an eye on that there's not much we can really do about it we can't participate we can't uh, get any benefits out of that so it's just gonna kind of um, things that are happening in the world that we want to keep an eye on see where it goes but we have more immediate concerns so and one of those is trying to improve our economy because I've been been spending some of the money that we've built up. Keep leasing those industrial complexes. Because we have the GDP. I think we have the GDP to actually increase our debt if we need to. So... GDP to debt ratio is 50.9%. Uh, interest rate higher than 10%. Okay. Well, we'll hopefully would deal with that. All right, industrial production of nanofibers is researched. Do I want to work on military equipment? Because we are going to be potentially fighting here. It will be better to kind of get base upgrades that will provide, you know, upgrades that will provide benefits without having to actually replace equipment. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Construction. Armor. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and improve our artillery. Well, the other thing we were able to do is actually increase some uh, or start to unlock some doctrines. And we were able to assign our army, you know, part of our army command. We still have military high command that we need to actually assign people to, but I think we'll hold off on that for the moment. Victor Yanukovych. Okay. No longer get the effects of greater state economic control, army first policies. 
Oppress political opposition, sure. 35 days. We do have Germany and France that are helping us build some civilian industry, which is good. Modern support weapons. Yes, that's another upgrade that we can get that will provide us benefits without actually replacing gear. I think we've actually built an attack submarine. We have, in fact, actually built an attack submarine. Let's go ahead and get that into the fleets. So we got construction four. Let's get excavation four. Um, oh, actually, here's one thing I want to do: open Let's save this as our wolf pack template, which is what I typically like to do. Ten submarines. It worked pretty well. That means that the next submarine that gets built will automatically go into the fleet without me having to do it manually. Germany is offering access to the military satellite communication system. We'll definitely take it for now. Let's get my armies ready. Yeah, let's definitely get my armies ready. I don't think Macedonia has any troops. Albania does. All right. A toxism? Do we have a bit of supply issue over here? Greek consumers spend less. to recession, please. Okay, it looks like it stayed in stagnation. That is not what I want to see. 
The United States is offering civilian satellite communication system. Syria wants to sign a pact of non-aggression. I have no reason not to sign a pact of non-aggression with Syria at the moment. did finish building that office sector. Is that reflected anywhere? Corporate income. You must have just finished it. Uh, yeah. That, that seems to definitely have really helped. Um, all right. Get another civilian factory built and then get me another office sector. We need 500 political power to go back up the stable growth. We're getting what? Minus 10% tax revenue multiplier from the stagnation. Sociable machines. All right. All right we're at 2005. Let's get advanced computing. We're about to get the self-replicating 3D printer. S9 gene editing, we'll throw that in. Somalia was puppeted to the Somali National Alliance. short some light metals all right focus is done Get revive the Megali idea. The Megali idea was the concept of a greater Greek nation consisting of former Greek territories, northern Epirus, coastal areas of Turkey. Well, uh, good luck with that. Uh, be a while before we're going to be able to engage Turkey, especially because Turkey is a NATO member. So, yeah. Also, got to do something about Cyprus. Um, 
We'll get there. A startup company for acquisition. A successful start a successful startup company has been put up for sale recently and is currently gathering large interest from a large foreign company seeking to expand their operations in Greece. Some are saying that this is this expansion should be stopped, though preventing the acquisition would go against the free market principles. Let's see. Domestic independence changes by We lose political power. State will buy it first. Small and business small and medium business owners' opinion goes up. We lose ten billion out of the treasury. That's a lot. No, we'll buy it first. Let's continue leasing. Yes, it's going to, you know, cost me, but that's all right. Want to get these industries built, and the game just crashed. Well, here's where the auto save was, so uh, not not too bad, not too bad. Now, went ahead and lease those factories. There's the multiple rounds, simultaneous impact. All right. So let's go for improvements for ATGMs. Right now, I'm not worried about uh, altering the layout of my, of any. Oh. Any other of my armies, because right now we don't have the manpower or the equipment to really do it. So we just have to deal with what we've got. So it looks like that these armies are, you know, improving. Is that the full manpower? At least that one is anyway. What about this one? Not quite full manpower. What about infantry small arms? Looks like it has sufficient small arms. We were training air wings, were we not? Yes. Still has a little way to go.
doctrines are available. Do I want to burn army experience on doctrines? I think I actually do want to use army experience on doctrines because I just said I'm not going to use it on improving my templates for the time being. Because there's no... Until we have surplus equipment and surplus manpower, there's no point. Um... And we're going to take the network centric division attack. No, there is. We were looking to do network infrastructure, instruction speed. We might also want to think about uh, some biofuel refineries. And improving our infrastructure just in general. Okay. All right. First target is going to be Macedonia. That is a 35 day focus. Once Macedonia is absorbed, this army will line up against Bulgaria. Do we have any good intel on Bulgaria? Not really. Well... Let's have you build an intel network in Bulgaria and let's see what we can get. We're going to take out Macedonia and Albania first. Alright, modern support weapons. Let's get improved anti-tank weapons. One of our larger companies within our nation has declared bankruptcy. Sad. Small and medium business owners competing goes down. That's it. I I don't really want to spend any more money. Did we get... Looks like we got both of those new... civilian factories. That's good. Strike Albania. Annex. Macedonia.
do it. They have no defenders. It looks like they have hardly any army. So let's just take care of business. We win this quickly or yeah, we're going to win this quickly. No, they did have an army. Germany wants to build civilian industry. We're going to continue to take that. You know what? We're going to take all the military aid that we can get from everyone who's willing to send it to us. All the equipment you've got, I will take it. Actually, let's go ahead and tell our armor to switch over. And join in the fights. Do you know how long this is going to take? No, we don't. We could use <laughs> we could use some multi-role fighters actually participating in combat that would be uh that would likely be helpful Now we have air superiority. There we go. Take all states. End turn. Done. All right. This army had. Ooh. I'm not going to be doing that. Head there. All right. And then reset up on the Albanian border. All right, there's the military aid getting canceled. So be it. But looks like we did get an infusion of some equipment at least. I'll take it. All right. Let's grab improvements to our man pads. Second gen battery coolant units. We have enough to increase to stable growth. Yes, it's going to increase the debt a slight amount, but it's going to put us back in the black. Now, 
have occupied territory. Yeah, we're struggling to equip our garrisons. That's because our garrison is, uh, that's not what we want as garrison. Um, Let's deal with Albania. And then we'll make adjustments to our garrisons because I don't think I have enough um, army experience. air power to create an air wing. <laughs> Advanced computing. Okay, I think it's now time that we start getting encryption and decryption because we're actually fighting. Need a cybersecurity division. Uh... You don't actually have enough factories to establish a cybersecurity division. We have no civilian factories and no military factories? That doesn't seem right. Two dockyards. Alright. Strike Albania complete. Go ahead and hit, uh, Strike Bulgaria. Do we have better intel? They have between two and five divisions. That's, you know, not great for them. All right. Let's declare war on Albania. And send my armies in. expecting okay then well uh, that's gonna complicate matters um they hardly have any divisions what about fleet They have a bunch of ships. Planes? A bunch of planes. Okay. Well, I might have stepped in it here. Uh, I 
Well, let's see what happens. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And uh, I did not check that if they were guaranteed by anybody before doing that. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. Hopefully. But for now, we'll stop here. So if you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.